Hello, YouTube world. It is I, everybody's favorite, Alienator Mars. Now, I've spent the last month or so trying to figure out what to talk about in today's session, today's episode, if you wish. Then I happened to stumble upon people talking about <coughs> getting dentures. And it was just, I'll try to tag her down below about getting sort of a before and after video clip on YouTube about before getting dentures and after getting dentures and this and the other and whatever and I got thinking I can I can relate to that because I have dentures yes people I'm in my 30s with dentures fake teeth like my upper teeth aren't mine they're fake um short answer as to why I got dentures bad teeth um, it's not like I don't have any funky stories like I got in some brawl where I lost half of my teeth defending somebody's honor or I fell on a flight of stairs or I fell off a roof while roofing somebody's house no bad teeth um, part of me is glad because I don't have to spend several hundred dollars a year in dental fees. However, at least once a day, I wish I had mural teeth again. If for no other reason than to eat properly again. Because having fake teeth, anybody who has dentures knows what I'm talking about. Eating something like <coughs> oh, uh, a cupcake or a piece of birthday cake or something with icing on it or peanut butter or peanut butter rising or anything along those lines anything what they call sticky sometimes it's a real bitch to keep your teeth in place whether it's your op your lawyers decide to come visit your office while you're in mid two or you're on the way around it's a real pain keeping your teeth in place but as I said, at least once a day, I wish I had my real teeth again. Nothing you can do, considering most of my teeth are now fake. And I spent way too much money on my teeth. I spent way, and that's just the regular dental bills when I had my own teeth. I spent way too much money. No matter, it just seemed like no matter if I went on a six month, twice a day binge on brushing my teeth, something was wrong. Filling, road canal, whatever. Oh yes, I did have root canals. I had one, two, th I had at least three, maybe four root canals. Teeth are now gone. I had three teeth pulled. Because tooth snapped in half, they got infected, whatever. They're gone. They are gone. No longer there. They are now fake. <coughs> and <coughs> one of the cool things uh, about the type of denture I have is they won't chip, they won't crack, they won't break, they won't discolor, any of that kind of crap. Now, which is good, yet, as I said, I wish I had my real teeth again. I, I can't say that enough. There's at least once a day I wish I had my real teeth again. But not much you can do. Gotta go with what you got. Make the best of it. Smile like there's no tomorrow. Pretend they're yours. So, that's my story. Hope you like it. If you have any questions or comments or whatever about having fake teeth and what the surgery was like, because I, I was like I got mine done at the hospital and I was knocked out cold and Two hours later, wake up. Feel like I just got hit with a truck. Oh yeah, when I woke up from the surgery, it felt like I was hungover minus the headache. If that makes any kind of sense, I just felt like, like oh fuck me, sideways, minus my teeth. And what other? What else really kind of sucked for that first year? Yeah, it's been a year and two months now was 
it took me three, maybe four months to have a sub. Start to finish with no pain. Three freaking months. And a submarine sandwich is one of my favorite things in the world to eat. And it took me almost three months to have one without killing me. Now the one thing I, I took me start between the time I t had my teeth out and the time I actually was able to have one was about eight months. A steak. Or a steak sandwich or anything with steak on it. It took me almost eight freaking months to have without any pain. Eight months. Now I can eat relatively normal. It took me six months to have anything with any kind of frosting on it or peanut butter without my teeth moving. So anyways, I think that's enough ramblings for now. If you have any questions or comments or whatever, post it down below. And I'll certainly try to get back to you. So, um, yeah, I think that's it for now. Keep out of trouble. And remember, if you get into trouble, don't name it after me.